table in the restaurant. So I had to hop out and get up the front step, and then I had to hop out and get up this step here. And then if you can pan over just a little bit here, some toilets. And I'm going to go over there, and that's going to be all bets are off. Hey, this is Brett, and we're coming at you from uh, a little side street off the Champs-Élysées. I uh, just ducked in here to get a little um, little R&R. &R. had quite the adventure earlier today. Uh, the Champs-Élysées, which is probably the most uh, iconic street in the world. This is a hub of commerce. All right. Ooh. Oh, goodness me. Slow? Slow. Maybe. I'm a little nervous. Slow. Slow. Uh, it is um, fairly accessible. Now, you're going to run into some challenges uh, when, you're, when you're crossing streets. Because again, we've got curb cuts with lips like that. We've got cobblestone. Maybe. Oh my God! It took a couple years off my life there. This is a, a prime example of what we're talking about here. So we'll keep filming. And look, they're able to step over. I can't do that. And so we're in. We're in. Okay, a little stuck. He was a little help from the cameraman. But again, this is exactly, you ready? There we go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, things are great until they're not. And, and I get stuck in there on purpose because I wanted to demonstrate that. So it's, it's tough, you know, because we do gravitate toward the more accessible areas of a city. But, you know, we're, we're, I do want to show you some of the difficulties so you know uh, what you're in for. Rolling down the street, uh, the most famous retail space in the world, and my right front caster comes off. And I mean, it was a terrifying situation. So, made our way to a, to a park bench, and uh, Corey, a, a student friend and uh, AV guy extraordinaire, uh, went back and looked for the, looked for the, uh, the little bolt, or whatever in the hell you call it, and by the grace of God or fate or whatever, I mean, we were able to find it. You know, this wheelchair that I'm sitting in is very expensive, polished titanium, did that on my own dime, paid for it out of my own pocket, $10,000 plus. How is indestructible metal like titanium completely rendered useless? This, this, this chair that I'm in, an extension of me, was completely rendered useless because of a $2 part, probably cost, you know, 15, 20 cents, you know, to actually manufacture it. And I'm telling you, I'm just so happy to be here and be in one piece. And so there's a learning lesson for me when I travel. I'm going to buy a bunch of those and just carry them with me in my pocket. Uh, but the point is, I guess, in a very nice collegial way, I shouldn't have to do that. Like, I should not have to do that. Uh, but we're going to decompress with a little vino and some wine. And, and some French onion soup, but that's part of the adventure. I'm gonna enjoy my wine and have some fun, but uh, until next time, that's saying, keep it rolling.